Mind plotters. Oh, what a day. I am, uh, I've got mountains of weeding to do on this plot today. But the big job of the day is it's community green space day over on the, the other part of the plot. So I'm going to try and film some of it. But uh, it depends if everybody's camera shy. But uh, if I get on the old uh, big power tools, I'll try and set you up to give you a little watch while we're having a bit of a clean up. So yeah, because this is a reinstated area, it hasn't been used for many, 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 many years. It's like 20, 30 years. So we all got our plots last year. So a lot of the areas around it are still really overgrown. And um, as allotment holders, we've decided that we wanted not only our plots to look nice, but our area around us to look nice. So we're, we've been tackling, I think where I showed you where my wood chips were, we've been tackling that for a couple of, like, a couple of times. So, um, but yeah, I, I have been up since Sunday because we've had torrential rain this week. And my God, the weeds have gone ancient. it. So I think once I've done up there today, I'm coming down here and I'll be weeding like a weeding woman gone mad. So um, I'll keep you up on the loop of what we're doing as we morning again right so yesterday was a green space area i was absolutely shattered so i didn't get off anything done on the plot really yesterday a little bit of weeding just to cool down so what i'm going to do in a minute is i might take you for a little wander show you what we did when it was all finished and then today i'm actually going to put the path in the polytunnel and you might be able to see them in the distance i have brought up all my tomatoes so I'm not having all of those, I want 28 of them. I don't know how many of these, but there's far more than 28. Um, so that's what, what the plan is today. I'll show you as we go along as normal. Like I say, today's, I'm going to get a path in the, poly, in the polytunnel down the middle, get the beds ready, start whacking that lot in. So uh, I can actually now walk in the greenhouse at home because I've took that lot out. So let's go for a little wonder and I'll show you around what we did yesterday. So plotters. We did all these paths look yesterday. How lovely does these look? Much better now. Poor Emily, she's took on another plot to use the wind. And uh, it was massively overgrown. So being a kind person that I am, I eat it all with a strummer for her. So uh, she's got a fighting chance. Rob went down and cleared the communal path down the middle. As you can see, look, all the way down there. But he also took it back a bit. These are overgrown plots. There's two of them. I'm the considering, shoot me in the head now for even thinking it, of taking on another one. But we shall see. 
but yeah so we'll, we'll have a little wander down so this is emily she's that that little plot there is what she had originally and now she's took on this side so she's working from the back forward but yeah it was a massive overgrownness so she's uh, got a little bit of a chance now again it's sorted so look all the cleared oh, look how nice that looks looks so much better cleared all the, sh the paths back a little bit so we can uh, get down without being attacked there's some lovely plots down here so another lovely little plot that's come along so we was all in the same boat we all had that lot to contend with when we all got them so uh, yeah lovely plot down here and uh, we've got a big IBC tank that's a good idea I like that idea might have to nibble one of them ideas myself big IBC I mean look at that that's a plot who in the right mind would want to take that on it's horrendous but uh, yeah another lot of polytunnels in that's a lovely plot as well down the bottom we're getting there with that so yeah it's looking good and then they're the plots on the front can't really uh, get to them from this side i'll have to show you one day so he's made some nice compost bins uh, yeah they've got a lovely view up there because uh, look at that over in the distance beautiful right let's get back onto my plot well no let's go and look at the other so, as you can see, this was what was overgrown yesterday. I hammered it all down, what well, me and Rob did with the old petrol strimmers, or bush cutters, hark at the birds. And uh, I had quite a big bonfire last night, because uh, the previous time when we did it, we had a load of brambles and things drying in a huge pile just there. So, uh, what I did last night was shift it to there and had a big fire but I was that knackered I couldn't be bothered to do the rest so that's there's another big pile in the distance over there that I'm going to crack on with we are in the process as well of getting materials together if you can see in the corner over there there's a couple of pallets we're going to make a nice big bug hotel there I'm going to try and leave a couple of weeds and things there just because we're not that cruel that we're going to decimate everything but everybody does grow flowers and stuff and then we've got that big overgrown area there that we leave to the wilderness and it's got all sorts of bits and bobs in so uh, but yeah it's looking good it's looking good it's been a busy couple of days but to get this communal area ready and just somewhere where we can have a social so I'm going to get the mower out next weekend and go over what we've cut back give it a mow and see what happens with it with them because I've managed to find as a free petrol mower so what I'm going to do is going to evict all this lot get it out and uh, get some wood cut get it weeded again I'm pissing mare's tail again in the corner over there lot mare's tail does my head in um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a path straight down the middle, big bed at the end, and uh, get all these tomatoes in. Right then, poppers, I've got the path in. It looks a bit Frankenstein, but I'm happy with Frankenstein. The rest of the pot looks a bit Frankenstein. Next job, we're going to dig these over, get the freaking mare's tail out again. See, I've dug one side over. It's like bloody concrete. To say I've dug this twice over in the past, hard work today um so i've done the i'm out of puff i'm too hot i've done this side and i've done the back what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look how much i make compost i've got and i might do a top dress like give it a a hoe break it all down a bit bit of a top dress with some uh, compost out compost bin and then whoo, obviously once i've done this side I, I just can't believe how much it's like chuffing concrete under here and it's too hot for me I don't do well in the heat so um, I'm sulking a little bit so flutters this is homemade compost um, so it's just twigs and stuff off the plot rabbit bedding 
grass clippings, veg peelings, the lot. It's a, a year old or more, well, a year old. So I'm going to whack some of that on the beds in the polytunnel. I've also got a bag of soil improver, which I'm going to chuck in. And I'm going to get a bit of a rake round. But yeah, how satisfying is it when you've made your own compost? But uh, I know there's a bit twiggy and a bit things like that, but I'm not bothered about that. It's for the tomatoes, so uh, I'm going to whack that in there. of soil improver. I am flagged. So I'm not a very good person with the heat. I do struggle. Right then plotters, I've made a contraption, so I'm going to put strings down from each of these so my tomatoes can grow up. I don't know if I can carry on today, I'm just too hot, but I really want to get my tomatoes in. I might just have 20 minutes sit outside and then uh, do it because, uh, like I say, I'm going to have strings, string down. Buried into the ground underneath the tomato. So on, so on, and so on. Two. See how many I can get in here. In an ideal world, I want to get 20. There's no way, 28 tomatoes in here. Right then, plotters. I'm going to get the tomatoes in. We have got Tiny Tim, Green Cherry, Black Cherry, Marman, St. Pierre, Black Crimer. Sim, San Manzano, Ox Heart, Tigerilla, Roma, Green Zebra and Orange Queen. They're all in here. I have Sacrifice, Money Maker and Tiny Tim. Oh no, I've not done Tiny Tim. Yeah, Sacrifice and Sun Baby. I'm muffling them in. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some of these before I pass out. So, uh, got me string, got me scissors, got me digging implement. I'm going to crack on. I'll show you when I've done because I can't keep filming while it's this hot. Well, campers, thanks for watching. Today's killed me. All the tomatoes are in that I want. I can't believe how hard it's been today. It's just been ridiculous. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next week for another adventure. <laughs>